Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to You Learn Something Every Day. Now, um, I didn't post any videos this weekend. Sorry about that. I was gone for an orchestra retreat, and I forgot to pre-record any videos. But to make up for that, I mean, look, it's it's me, and it's you, and we're connecting, because this is no longer a somewhat bad chalkboard drawing of me that I made. It's, it's actually me. Um, I guess there's no way to really prove that unless you know me, but yeah, so it's me um, And that's cool. So if you like actually seeing me in, in my videos, which will now progress from just the audio level um, Then be sure to well, leave a comment and let me know that you actually like it because otherwise It'll be somewhat strange and it'll just be like awkward so don't let that happen. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like this or not. Now, let's talk today about splinters um, because we're learning something every day. And I think what we're going to learn today is very useful. Now, splinters are really annoying whenever you get a splinter because they hurt. They hurt when you put pressure on them and they're basically overall pretty awful. They're really hard to get out because they get embedded in your skin at like an, an angle into your skin. Like, can you see this? You're not used to this. I, yeah, I usually make hand gestures at my microphone like this when I'm talking. But they get embedded in your skin, so if you try and like pull them out one way, they get embedded deeper and then it's awful. And it's overall just a horrible experience. So splinters are no fun. However, um, in the 1900s, they came up with an interesting method for getting rid of splinters, um, which I will um, put um, a link to an image of maybe. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. They just came up with this interesting image uh, way of getting rid of splinters. Basically, how this works is you put, uh, you fill like a small like vial or a small, really like small mouth cup, like maybe that big or something. Um, and you fill it up with water that's near boiling water and then you just plug it on your hand um i actually have a splinter right there so um i should definitely try this you take the hot water put it on your hand and the it, it basically causes a vacuum and and the vacuum caused and all the steam basically opens up the hole in your hand where the splinter is and slowly pulls it out I've not actually tested this method for getting out splinters. Um, I probably should. I haven't gotten a splinter in a really long time though. I got one this weekend, which sucks. But um, yeah, you should. You guys should try that out. Uh, leave a comment if it works. Um, be sure to let me know so I can also try it out. Um, it's it's probably not gonna work. If I'm being honest with you, I I don't have too much faith with it, and it came out in the 1900s and there's not been a patent for some device that can get splinters out of your hands as of yet. So I don't have high hopes for this. But you should still try it out anyways, and I hope you learned a new way of getting splinters out of your hands in this video. Um, which is actually a video I no longer have to stumble over in this broadcast podcast, I can just say in this video. I think I like this. I think this is a, a, a new generation of, of content. I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever that may be, and don't forget to live long and peace out. Bye!